Hello, my name is Dan Minervini. Imagine you are a ten-year-old boy chasing one of your chickens that escaped your property. You are running, when suddenly everything goes black and you are showered in sand and shrapnel. This was the case for Parwes Khan, and is the case for many people around the world in countries that are stricken with landmines. The problems caused by landmines are manifold. According to Victim and Survivor Assistance, more than one million people have been killed or maimed by landmines. That is approximately one person every 15 seconds. According to listverse.com, Egypt, Iran, and Angola are the three countries with the most landmines. Cambodia is also infamously contaminated with landmines. Egypt has approximately 23 million landmines contaminating the landscape. Iran has approximately 16 million, mostly as a result of the 1980 to 1988 Iran Iraq conflict. And Cambodia has approximately 8 million. According to listverse.com, Cambodia has one of the highest rates of physical disability in the world. This is due to the landmines. And while military force has not placed mines in Cambodia in decades, civilians frequently use them to protect their property and to settle disputes with neighbors. As these previous facts have shown, the majority of landmine casualties are civilians, not, not soldiers. According to the International Campaign to Ban Landmines, 70 to 85 percent of landmine casualties are civilians. Most of the countries in which these casualties occur are at peace. Here are some accounts from the United Nations website that further prove this point. One account was of a woman farming in a field. She picked up a landmine, not knowing what it was, and it detonated. She received multiple wounds to her face and lost her right arm below the elbow. The second account is of a child who is looking for mortars to sell in the local marketplace. He stepped on a mine and lost his right leg. Now, I will discuss the cause of this problem, namely the use of mines, particularly by the United States. According to the Monitor, the United States follows most of the key provisions of this ban, that is, the Mine Ban Treaty, which prohibits countries from using anti-personnel mines. The United States has not used anti-personnel mines in two decades. We no longer use dumb mines or persistent mines anywhere in the world. These are the mines that you are all presumably familiar with, the ones which are not designed to self-destruct after a certain period of time, the ones which remain waiting for an innocent victim to set them off. However, the problem lies in the fact that the United States claims that it reserves the right to use smart mines or non-persistent mines anywhere in the world at any time. These mines are designed to detonate after a certain amount of time. However, the Mine Ban Treaty also prohibits these, according to the United Nations website. For many are spread indiscriminately by aircraft or artillery and do not explode as they were designed to. Therefore, they are made to claim an innocent victim. This problem can be solved if the United States simply joins the Mine Ban Treaty. The United States first began policy review in 2009 under Obama. Originally, the Clinton administration had set the goal to join the treaty in 2006, but the Bush administration reversed this decision in 2004. According to the Human Rights Watch website, there is a notable support for the United States' joining of the Mine Ban Treaty. This support includes 16 Nobel Peace Prize laureates, including the Dalai Lama and Archbishop Desmond Tutu, and also 68 United States Senators who sent a letter to Obama expressing support in May of 2010. A clear advantage of the United States is joining the Mine Ban Treaty is the fact that many innocent lives will be saved in the future. According to the International Campaign to Ban Landmines, many countries are already in the process of clearing landmines. The U.S. should not add to this problem. According to Listverse, Iraq and Afghanistan are already among the top ten countries in terms of the highest number of landmines. If the U.S. continues to spread mines there, we are only adding to the problem and not helping it. While the U.S.'s joining of the treaty may remove the strategic advantages of using smart mines, constantly improving technology and other weapons have already begun to replace them, and surely will. By supporting the United States' joining of the Mine Ban Treaty, we can all help to ensure like, that cases like that of Parwes Khan losing his leg while chasing his chicken do not happen decades from now. Visit www.icbl.org today to support. Thank you. Thank you very much.